Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today, or should I say tonight, it's nighttime out there. I am on call and I wanted to do, while I had the spare time, a video on how to set up your alarms. A couple of people have requested me to do a video in the comments on how to set up the ORs and I think this is a great opportunity to go through the OR setup with you guys since I'm on call and I have a little bit of downtime so here we go This is a room that we usually use for many different types of surgeries. So we have a bunch of equipment in here. Most importantly, we have our anesthesia equipment, our machine, all of our basic supplies for setting up, medications, and other accessories, which we have in a cart here that uh, we will use pretty frequently to give anesthesia and to monitor patients. So that's what we have going on here. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Of course, the bed for the patient to lie on. This room actually has what we call the Da Vinci robot. And this is one of our really cool features that we use for uh, lots of surgeries now. It's remotely controlled. There's some consoles over here that the surgeons will sit at and do cases. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty state of the art technology. So with the Da Vinci in the background, <laughs> I'm gonna start setting up for my case. There's really no need to put on your mask before you set up for your case, but I just feel like it adds a little bit of effect. So I'm gonna do it. First things first, you wanna check to make sure you have everything you need for your surgery, and that is everything you need for safe delivery of anesthesia for your surgery. So we will go through a mnemonic that we usually use. So this is kind of a nice guideline for your anesthesia OR setup. So the acronym MSMADES is what we use a lot of times when we're first starting out to teach how to set up the OR. So the first thing we need to check is the machine. So let's take a look at it. self-test was a success and the machine is ready to go. Another part of your machine check is checking at the back of your machine to make sure you have portable tanks for oxygen and that your portable tank of oxygen is full. This is a backup supply so you want to make sure that you have it just in case the hospital oxygen has an issue or a disconnect. So this is a suction canister. You usually have it set up and ready to go on an anesthesia machine. You wanna make sure it's turned on and it's at its full capacity for suction. You can turn this dial all the way. Make sure your suction is in the green. Okay, part which is called a yank hour suction. So it's like a large straw, really big, big opening so that you can get a lot of material out of the way as quickly as possible. And you just connect this up to your tubing. Suction tip goes right like so. And when you're in business, you can hear it starting to suction the plastic here. So that's what you want to hear when you know your suction is good and ready to go. monitors. So monitors include blood pressure cuff, pulse oximeter, you usually use a nice sticker probe for that, and EKG leads. So EKG electrocardiogram is a way to monitor the heart's rate and rhythm while people are asleep so that we can make sure that there is no change from their normal baseline heart function. And if there is, we can intervene pretty quickly to fix it.
IV with a bag of fluid. Ta-da! Lots of IV fluid. Plasma light is what we like to use in my hospital, but most other places will actually use normal saline very standardly. And that is the IV fluid of choice. We actually use IV tubes of many different types to connect them. This one we actually use for blood transfusions. You can see there's a little ball in there that has a purpose. Usually it helps us to know the fluid line and there's a filter so we can filter anything out of blood, blood products so that none of that enters the patient. Yeah, we have a lot of different types of IV tubing. This is kind of our standard tubing that I showed you first. This is tubing to connect to other medications. So IVs are really important to anesthesiologists. As you can see, we have a lot of different types. So we use them pretty much on everybody. Um, IV catheters, we wanna make sure we have enough of those. So those are these guys. It goes from the really teeny tiny ones. This is the baby IV catheter. See how small that is? It's yellow and the tip is very short. All the way up to like the huge Whopper large bore IV. See how big that is? That is big. And we use that on some patients that need a lot of fluid or blood very fast. So those are our IVs. And everyone that has anesthesia gets one. So don't be nervous about that, placing the IV or getting an IV place because it's really the only way that we can take care of you safely.